Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another unboxing video. And in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing something very, very special. What I'm going to be unboxing in today's video is a one of 70 vintage Jeff Hamilton Chicago Bulls jacket made to celebrate the iconic Chicago Bulls 1996 70 plus win season. I know guys, another one. <laughs> I have so many of these now, but I absolutely love them. I can't stop. They're, they're just absolutely amazing jackets. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of jackets that are made by Jeff Hamilton. I absolutely love his designs. If you're a little bit behind and don't know who Jeff Hamilton is, Jeff Hamilton is an American designer who created jackets for pop stars, um, sports celebrities and even presidents for the past 30 or 40 years uh, some of the most iconic ones were worn by huge celebrities some celebrities may be wearing them and you don't even know they are jeff hamilton jackets until you see his iconic logo but they were worn by everyone in the 80s and 90s particularly uh, you see Michael Jordan wearing them, you see Kobe Bryant wearing them, you see Shaq wearing them, you even see Bill Clinton wearing them. Like, as I said, he literally made jackets for presidents and stuff, man. Like, it's just crazy. It's, he had the honor of creating jackets for so many icons over the past couple decades. Now, uh, as I also mentioned, he created them for sports stars and more, more, you know, in inclusively sports teams as well in various different sporting leagues as well. So I'm talking Chicago Bulls for the NBA. I'm talking uh, NFL teams. I'm talking NASCAR players. I'm talking he made jackets for everyone. Uh, what I'm going to be unboxing today is probably one of his most limited jackets to release to the public. And that is, is one of 70 1996 Chicago Bulls 70 season win jacket. This was the jacket used to celebrate the Chicago Bulls beating that iconic record back in 1996. So to backtrack a little bit here, back in 1996, the Chicago Bulls beat the record for the most wins in a season. They, at the end of the season, had 72 wins and also won the championship that year. That has not been beaten ever. Now, the, to be fair, the Golden State Warriors did beat the most wins in the season, but they didn't win the championship that season back in like 2015 or 16. So technically, the record of 70 plus wins and winning the championship has not been beaten yet. And this was the jacket that was, I think, sold at the game. I would assume sold at the game where they actually got the 70th win because that was the big record at the time. The time at, at the time, the LA Lakers had the record back in nine, uh, yeah, back in 1972, which was 69 wins. So the 70th win that the Chicago Bulls got tipped them over the edge for the most wins ever done in a season. And yeah. To celebrate 70 because that was the big number jeff hamilton did 70 leather jackets to celebrate that and as i've expressed i'm going to be unboxing one of those 70 leather jackets today so exciting stuff guys let's get into it so i managed to pick this up off of ebay actually <laughs> that's where i get most of my jeff hamilton jackets from i search through ebay Finding them and I picked it up from a guy in America, which I thought was really cool He was the second owner of this jacket. So it is very unused He bought it off the person that bought it at the game back in the day for God, it was a lot of money. It was 800 US dollars back in the day I didn't pay anywhere near that for this jacket But it's a crazy crazy thing to think about the back then someone just had $800 lying around at the game to pick this jacket up crazy let's get into it though guys so yeah the reason i really like buying jeff hamilton jackets is just because he has such a unique take on designing the jackets his work with leather his work with uh not even just exclusively leather but just a lot of different materials to make these applique designs on the back of it it's just i can't think of any other designers 
that have done it you know like i feel like he's the only one that's doing it or if he you know if there are other designers out there they're not doing it like he is he is so unique in the way that he does his designs let's i don't want to accidentally scratch the leather with this you know sharp pair of scissors here so just want to do it nice and slow uh this jacket now as i mentioned there's only 70 of them i managed to pick up number 21 at age 21 i managed to pick up number 21 <laughs> i thought that was just a really cool coincidence i don't know if that really matters to you guys too much but yeah no i'm super keen to get this open um yeah came in an extra large which isn't usually the size i go for jeff hamilton jackets i try and go for like a really around a 2xl if i want it to fit very oversized i go for a 3xl but an extra large will definitely fit me i do i have some extra large jeff hamilton jackets in the in the closet now this thing weighs in at an impressive 2.2 kilos there is a whole animal for this but let's open it up let's open it up so not that exciting to start off with <laughs> Not that crazy, but we'll get it open and we'll get it out of the box. This is going to be absolutely wild. So, here it is. Let's get it out. Okay. Actually, I'll see if I can grab... Nah, actually, I won't worry about it. So, the front of it. Nice red satin lining. Little patch on the left breast there that says... First 70 win season, Chicago Bulls, 1995 to 1996. I open up the pocket here. Look at this. 21 of 70. This is all done in applique, by the way. By Jeff Hamilton or JH Design. Handmade in the United States. This patch here is all embroidery and that 21 out of 70 is actually a bit of leather. Each of those numbers down here, pieces of leather done onto that patch. It's absolutely crazy. Handmade in the United States. Unheard of these days. Unheard of these days. Now, on top of this amazing lining on the inside, get ready for the back. The back is where it's really at. On the back of this piece, here we are. This is why I always come to him for, for the jackets. We have 95, 96 Chicago Bulls. This is all leather, by the way. This is individual leather pieces to spell out Chicago Bulls, to spell out 96. It's all done by cutting up pieces of leather and making this shape. Down the bottom, we have Bulls written in leather. This whole basketball net down the bottom was cut out of leather and put together. I just, I'm sorry, I just think that's absolutely insane for the attention to detail that he put into it. Now on, it was this shoulder, wasn't it? We have another applique patch that says NBA Eastern Conference. A little bit of shiny material on there to make it hard for the camera to focus on it. <laughs> but nothing on this arm, unfortunately. Some little bit of little scuff marks here and there, but from a jacket from 1997, I don't expect, you know, it to be in amazing condition. As it showcases there, it says extra large on the hang tag here. And this is one of his old tags. If you look at a more modern Jeff Hamilton jacket, the tag on it actually changes as well. This is just, it's a piece of history. It is a piece of history here, guys. Look at the detail. It's all leather. And as I've expressed before, name one other designer that did these, has, that does jackets like this today like it's just unheard of what i'll do now is i'll try it on just so you guys can see what it looks like on body and here it is on person notice how if i just quickly walk over to the camera a little bit on the right arm i have the silver bits and the red on top then on the other arm it's reversed i just sorry i thought that was a little detail that i also thought i should probably point out but this is the jacket not too much going on in the front. To be honest, I mean, it just kind of looks like a very nice all leather Chicago Bulls jacket. I, I can see it. But then it's really when you turn around. This is where all the fun is. In the back. Look at that. I, I just absolutely love it. I think it's an amazing piece. One that I've wanted for ages. I had the opportunity to pick up 
number 16 as number 16 also appeared on eBay. But I thought, you know what, 21 was better. And also the person asked for a more reasonable price for number 21. But I just thought a really well done piece. And as I've said before, a piece of history from 1996. Like this is, I'm so happy I was able to pick this up for a good price. Um, I'm literally the third owner. So when I tried it on, I have some other Jeff Hamilton jackets in my wardrobe that have had so many owners over the years that they've just like fallen apart. They're not as good at like, you know, the integrity of the jackets falling apart a bit because it's so old and so worn. But this is just so new because it's I'm literally owner number three. It's just, yeah, it feels like I literally went to the game in 96 and picked this up. Like this, I just, yeah, wow. That's on the back. That is like the main appeal for me is that piece of artwork back. Now, as I mentioned, extra large is a little bit short. I'm so used to my Jeff Hamilton jackets coming little bit further than I'm normally a 2XL but I mean I had to I couldn't say no when I saw the price I was like look I'm willing to have it a little bit smaller than I'm used to because yeah it's just absolute piece of history that I'm so happy to own and I mean hey look I own all the ones like I've got all the Jordan ones here besides some of the OG colorways I am missing a few of them but yeah, it'll just be awesome to rock it with like some bread ones. Like, I mean, okay, the red doesn't match up, but that's okay. You get the idea. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Just gonna be. I love it. I love it, guys. I want to hear from you guys though. How do you feel about Jeff Hamilton jackets? Would you pick up any Jeff Hamilton jackets off of eBay now that you've seen like this one? Or are they just not for you? Could you not wear something like this? How do you feel about it? I absolutely love this piece, but I want to know all your thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below. And that's it guys. I thought I would just showcase it one more time, not on body, but on a coat hanger, just so I can like clearly hold it like this. And there we go. Like it gets showcased to you there. It's just an insane piece. Like the use of leather and the way that it's constructed is just so unique. And I really wanted to own it because I'm a huge fan of Jeff Hamilton jackets. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Bulls and especially like peak Bulls in the 90s and the 80s and like I, yeah I just thought it was something super special and something I needed in my wardrobe as you guys know I absolutely love leather jackets and stuff like that but there's the back of it one more time uh, I want to hear from you guys in that comment section below on how you feel about it would you pick one of these up if you could find one in your size on eBay would you pick one of these up or is it going to be a miss from you I want to know all your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep unboxing my various streetwear and fashion and clothing releases that I get, uh, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,750 subscribers on the channel this month, guys. We're like two subs off, tell two of your mates, tell two of your family members, and hopefully, we can reach the milestone of 2,750 subscribers before the end of November. But that's it, Unbox, guys. Uh, it'll probably feature in like various other videos down the line, but I thought I'd just showcase that to you guys because it's a pretty unique piece and I'm definitely going to be hunting for more of the rare jackets that prop up every now and again on eBay and stuff like that. So until the next unboxing video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next drop list video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.